In our next example, we will be applying the power of a product or quotient rule. Now recall that this works very similar to the power rule that we might have just learned. So again, you will multiply the exponents when you're raising a power to a power. Let's look at the very first example. We have 2x all raised to the third power. So we should write 2 to the third x to the third. Now in this case we can simplify 2 to the third power. This is simply 2 times 2 times 2 and we know this to be 8 since 2 times 2 is 4 and 4 times 2 is 8. So we will write it as 8x to the third power. Now <clears throat> on the next example we have 5x to the fifth y to the minus 3 z to the minus 1 all raised to the negative 2. So what we will do is write this out applying the power of a product rule. 5 raised to the negative 2 x raised to the negative 10 y raised to the positive 6 since negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6 and z raised to the second since negative 1 times negative 2 again is a positive 2. So now what we will do is we will rewrite this expression with the negative exponents in the denominator. So on top in the numerator we will have y to the sixth, z to the second, and on the bottom we will have 5 squared and x to the tenth. Now we can further simplify this since we know that 5 squared is simply 5 times 5. So this becomes then 25. So in the denominator here we have 25 x to the 10th power. So here's this expression simplified just to line it out for you. Now moving on we have 4 to the 4 x squared y to the minus 2 all raised to the 3rd. So we have then 4, third, 4 to the 3rd, x to the 6th, since 2 times 3 is 6, y to the minus 6, since negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. So now what we will do is simplify this. We know that 4 to the 3rd happens to be 64, since 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is 64. So we have 64 x to the 6th, and in the denominator, since this exponent here is negative, we will write it as positive y to the positive 6. All right, continuing on with our examples. Now we're applying the product of a quotient rule. So again, this works just like the product rule, the power of the product rule. We then have x to the 8th, since 4 times 2 is 8, over 5 to the 2nd. And again, you can further simplify this, since we know, again, that 5 to the 2nd is 25. So here's our simplified expression. On the very last example, again, we'll write 2 to the 3rd, t to the 15th, since 5 times 3 is 15, over w to the 12th since 4 times 3 is 12. Now once more you can further simplify this. 2 to the third power again is 8. So we have 8 t to the 15th over w to the 12th. So we've simplified our given expressions using the power of a product or the power of a quotient rule.